Hello, my fellow makeup enthusiasts. Welcome back to my perfectly healthy expression of makeup enthusiasm. My name is Lainey, and today is Fenty Day. I just got an order in the mail yesterday. I wanted to sit down and film with this right then and there, but I needed to wait till today. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the new stuff that just came in, and I'm also gonna be showcasing some old favorites, my Fenty foundation, my matchstick, my diamond balm, um, basically a shit ton of Fenty products. Everything that I have on my face today with the exception of my blush and my lashes, Fenty. So Fenty has just shot way up on my list of favorite makeup brands and Oh man, it's 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 up there. I mean, everything I tried is fantastic. But I'm getting spoilery. So let's just go ahead and get into the makeup, shall we? And now with a clean face and clean fingers, I'm going to start by putting on my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. This is the original foundation. I bought this when it came out. I almost didn't get it. In fact, I ignored Fenty for the longest time because I find foundation a relatively boring makeup product, but then a friend of mine asked me to pick up a sample of Fenty foundation for her because she knew I was going to Sephora because I always go to Sephora. And when I went in there, my friend has a very, very different skin tone from mine. And I asked for a sample and the salesperson looked at me funny and I said, no, 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 it's, it's for a friend. And she said, well, would you like a sample as well? And I was like, yeah, sure, what the fuck? And so I came home and tried it and loved it. Now, this is super matte, which is not something that I love all the time. It is great if your skin is oily. So I tend to reach for this right about mid cycle, right about the time that I'm ovulating and my skin gets oily. And I know we're all different. Some people get really dry skin mid cycle. Some people get really oily skin right around their period. I get really dry skin right around my period. You don't care. The point is I'm actually mid cycle right now. So this is the perfect time for me to be busting this out. Now I did a video yesterday where I was talking about doing your face in quadrants. And this is that is super important when you're using a very quick drying, very matte foundation like the Fenty Pro Filter. And I was talking about how great it is to use your fingers to apply a foundation, and I still believe that. But for this one, I really do like to use a beauty blender, and I'm using the Real Techniques blender. This is for the face and body, but I love this blender because it is big and bouncy. Um, I did try to use the Fenty blender at one point because it was really soft and I like my beauty blenders to be soft and cuddly, but I really like them to be big and soft and cuddly like a teddy bear of a beauty blender. And that one was nice and soft. It was really tiny. Well, not super tiny, but it was small, but it fell apart on me like within a week. So I don't really recommend the Fenty beauty blender unless you don't plan on using it a whole lot. Oh, and as always, I forgot to even mention primer. I do have the Fenty primer. I don't find that it does anything for me. I find that this foundation sticks to the skin really well and stays in place really, really well without anything on underneath it. And the fewer products I can glob onto my skin, the better. I just, I hate that feeling of having a whole bunch of shit sitting on my face. The lighter, the better for me. Oh, and please don't freak out that my face doesn't match this area, the décolletage, décolleté. I was brought up to say décolletage, but whatever. Now it just looks like I'm trying to show you my titties, and I'm not. Anyway, this foundation does oxidize just a bit, so within the hour, it's going to match. Trust me. I should say that it oxidizes on me. Oxidation is a weird thing because it's not just the product, it is the combination of the product and your skin chemistry. So it might oxidize on one person and not on another. It does oxidize on me, but just a little bit. Ooh, but holy porcelain skin, Batman, this is pretty. At least I like it. I always forget how much I love this foundation. And granted, you have to wear it on the right day for your skin, for it to look really good, but I'm loving it today. So do I want to start with eyes or face? Eyes or face? Eyes, definitely eyes. I'm gonna grab these little eye crayons and they are also lip 
friendly. So I'm gonna try some on my lips as well. But this is called the Frost Money Trio. And I'm not sure that I can remember all of the crayons names, but I will definitely put them down here if I forget. So I did play with these before I filmed this video. This isn't exactly a first impressions because I wanted to, I, I didn't wanna make an ass out of myself, that's why. I'm, I'm still not totally comfortable making an ass out of myself knowing that I might make an ass out of myself, even though I make an ass out of myself without meaning to. Mm. These are not like shadow sticks. I had, I think it was a Laura Mercier caviar shadow stick. One time I got it in a Sephora Play box back when I had that, and I did not like that at all. It was really slippery, it was really oily, it just slid off my eye within like 30 minutes. These are more like eyeliners. And so you really can't move them around. They're really not all that blendable. But now that I know that, I know how to work with them and I really, really like them. So I'm gonna start with this shade. It's called Perp something. And I'm gonna start on the outside and just draw a little bit of a wing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna alternate between eyes today. I usually do one eye at a time. I'm gonna mix it up and do something a little different today. It really does stay in place. So don't think that you can just draw some of this on and then blend it out. It really doesn't blend, at least not for me. And I'm not wearing any eye primer today because I don't need it with these. So I know my eyes are never completely even, they never will be. If that bothers you, if you're OCD about that kind of thing, I'm probably not the person for you to watch because I don't know. I'm blind in this eye and so it's really hard for me to get an even application. I, I really do think that that's the reason because I can completely shut this eye whereas I can't completely shut this eye unless I want to not see a damn thing. And I'm not whining about it, I'm just explaining. My eye application is never even, but then once I put lashes on, it pretty much covers up the unevenness, at least I feel like it does. So it doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, I am really sorry, I really am. It does kind of embarrass me. I am sensitive about it. Oh, but we're gonna take this purple crayon and I'm gonna run it along the lower lash line and pro tip, amateur tip, it works in the waterline really well. So you can see I put purple in the waterline over here and I tried to leave this one as blank as possible, although some purple did kind of seep into it. But we're gonna go in with the blue shade and then I'm gonna do some blue on the lid. I don't do that very often, but I'm gonna do it today. And again, I feel like this needs to be blended. The colors, they don't, they don't blend. You can't blend them. Um, they dry down like that, which is fine. I'm gonna take the silver shade. I think this is called Lush, but this is a really pretty silvery gray shade. So I'm gonna try to use this to blend a little bit. For the right eye, I'm gonna try to put the blue in the waterline and see if that looks nice up against the purple. And for my liner, I am reaching for the Eclipse Liner by Fenty in Alien Bay. This is still available. You can get it on the Fenty website. You just can't get it at Sephora. Let me see if I can swatch it. So see, it swatches black, and then in theory, when you smudge it a little bit, it's supposed to give you some glitter effect. I don't know though, I would never smudge my eyeliner that much. I'm a little nervous. I've used this before though, but I didn't smudge it so I didn't get the glitter effect. Wait one second and I will be back with liner and lashes. Liner and lashes are done and oh my holy hell you guys, I had to do so much damage control because of this Eclipse liner. I don't think this is a bad eyeliner. I think that this is a perfectly fine, great liquid, liner if you just use it as plain jane liquid liner it's gonna work fine but i tried to get the glitter effect to come out so i kept trying to do a little bitty smudge to get the glitter out oh i made a mess i made a, i made such a mess 
and I'm gonna use this little baby mini duo of Sunstalker bronzer and the matchstick also um, I think this is more of a contour so I'm probably gonna be using this more than I'm using this but this bronzing shade is called caramel cutie I got the darker one I know I probably should have gotten the lighter one but honestly if I'm doing contour I really like a slightly darker shade because I feel like that gives it more of a shadow effect so I'm gonna pull these out and we're gonna get started so I've played with this before and I really love to use the matchstick to contour my nose because as I've said before I don't do a snatched nose I just try to make my nose look a little less bulbous and I realize in the editing process that sometimes my blending is off. I know that. I'm working on it. We're going to work on it today. And I'm taking some finishing powder. I don't have the Fenty powder. This is La Mer because I'm bougie. And I'm going to try to soften up this nose contour so that I don't get made fun of. And for the face contour, I'm going to use the matchstick in cinnamon on the right cheek. And then just in case this dries down quickly, I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. Let's try Caramel Cutie on the other side. I'm going to use a little mermaid brush. I should have used this in my Ariel Get Ready With Me, but I didn't. Okay, so I feel like the Sun Stalker still shows up. Um, I don't know how I feel about the application. It's just not what I'm used to. And I feel like the matchstick kind of got lost. So, for contouring the face, I definitely think that the Sunstalker bronzer works better. And for contouring the nose, absolutely matchstick all the way. Now, Fenty does not make blush, so I'm going to use my blush wipe, the Tarte Sugar Rush Blush in Beaches and Cream. I really wanted to get Geisha Chic and use that as a blush. I thought it would be so pretty as a blush. And then the controversy blew up the internet. And I've talked to people of Asian descent who said, that's not offensive. They're not prostitutes, they're not abused, it's not a thing. And then I've talked to other people who apparently are very knowledgeable in cultural studies, and they say, no, there's, it, there's a terrible abusive history, it's a dark stain on Japanese culture. I don't personally know. Obviously, I'm not Japanese, I, I don't know anything really about the history of of geisha culture um, other than what I've read in fictional accounts. And for highlight, I'm going to grab my matchstick in confetti. This had been kind of lost in one of my drawers and I had kind of forgotten about it ever since I got married to the Smashbox crystallized highlighter, but I really, really love this matchstick as a highlight. So here is the finished face minus the lips. I am going to grab, as I drop the lid, I'm going to grab these crayons and I'm going to do some lipstick with these crayons because these are for your eyes and your lips. So we're going to see what that looks like. Oh, and I'm doing a popsicle lip. Wow, this is so not me. I would never wear this out. I feel like it makes my teeth look yellow as fuck, but it's kind of fun. Um, how do these work on the lips? Well, like I said, they dry down super fast, so they don't feel great. Um, oh, and I almost forgot. I'm going to grab a little bit of Diamond Balm and use it as an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take off this bizarre lipstick, I'm going to remove my eye makeup, <laughs> and we're going to do something totally different using, using the Frost Money set again, and then I'm also going to pull in the Baywatch set. These liners are gorgeous. And this time I went a lot simpler with the application of the Frost Money crayons. I just put a uh, Lush Fund on this eye and I put Igloo Blue on this eye because I really want to show off these liners from the Baywatch set. We have Jalapeno, that's the green, I love that name. We have Techno Beet, B-E-E-T, like the vegetable. This is the beet shade. And then we have Hot Tub Club, that's the blue shade. I'm just gonna use the blue and the green for now and we're gonna get into the beet shade a little bit later on. 
we have Hot Tub Club, Techno Beat, and Jalapeno. And then I also forgot to swatch these when I initially showed them. This is Lush Fund, Igloo Blue, and Smokin' Perp. I also completely lied about which colors I'm going to try out. I'm going to try Jalapeno on this eye with the silver, and I'm going to try Techno Beat on this eye with the blue. Dang, dude, I know that this application leaves something to be desired. I apologize, but this is Jalapeno over Lush Fund. Um, so that's the green over the silver. This is giving me alien vibes. I'm really digging it. And then this is Techno Beat over Igloo Blue. This is, this is my style. These are my colors. This is what I want to wear for the rest of the day. Although this I think is bitchin'. I think it looks super cool. Do I wanna go all the way and put lashes on? <sighs> Why not? So I did a really sloppy job of the lash application because honestly I'm getting really tired and I did have to thicken the eyeliner a little bit to get it to show up but I wanted to show you how this liner would look on me the way I would wear it in real life because I am never without my false lashes and I think it still shows up. I really, really dig this liner. So I've got to figure out something to do with this Hot Tub Club shade. I think, I think I'm just gonna run it along the lower lash line just so I can show it to you. And what I'm doing is I'm seeing if I can get it to go on my lower lashes because the very first time I got a liquid liner, I think it was in the 90s and I was a teenager, and I got a liquid liner in one of those little gifts with purchase at the Clinique counter, and I didn't know what it was and I thought that it was for your lower lashes, and so I used liquid liner like this for I don't even know how long before I figured out that it was supposed to be eyeliner and it, it kind of worked so let's see if it still works. It seems to be kind of working. Yeah, I am super impressed with pretty much everything that I've tried today and last of all I'm going to show you some pout sickle lipstick in the shade hot blooded. I never tried the Mademoiselle lipsticks because I'm not into matte lipsticks, but this is supposed to be more of a satin formula, so let's see how it looks. Oh man, and this stuff smells crazy good. I don't know, it smells like a cookie. Mmm. So this is definitely way more me than the smoking perp and lush fun on the lips. But that was fun to try. This is beautiful, it's comfortable, and it smells really good. So slam dunk. Wow, you guys, I am so impressed with everything that I've tried today. I love Fenty. Fenty has officially skyrocketed to my top three. We've got Urban Decay, we've got ColourPop, and now Fenty is right up there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I just I just keep saying wow, wow, Bob, wow. And really the only Fenty product that I have ever disliked was the Stunna lip paint. And it wasn't the product itself, it was the applicator. I heard somebody describe the applicator as a snowman shape, and that's perfect because it's fatter than an hourglass shape. And my problem with it was that it forces you to overline your lips, which is something that I do not like to do. I should say that it forced me. Because of my lip size and my lip shape, it forced me to overline, and I did did not like it. I thought it was a big mess. I finally tried using a, an applicator from another lipstick and that worked fine, but that got to be a whole thing and I got sick of it, so I decluttered that product. But everything else that I've ever tried from Fenty has been the bomb. It's That's not how you say it nowadays. Can you tell how old I am? It's been bomb. It's just some bomb ass makeup. It's fantastic. So pleased, so happy with everything, and that wraps it up for today. So as always, thank you so very much for joining me. Follow me on Instagram, I will follow you back, and I'm adding something to my outro now because I'm trying to get a little bit bigger. Subscribe if you like what you see, because I've got lots more where this came from. Throw me a pity like, give me some encouragement to make some more videos. Very special shout out to you if you are watching this video on the toilet. And until next time, stay adorably obsessed with makeup.